You might have seen I enumerable or I queryable in programming or in your project, but using the correct one in correct situation can help with performance of your application. My name is Progain and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you love content related to .NET programming, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you will be notified when I publish new videos. Now let's get back to the big question. What is the difference between I enumerable and I queryable? I queryable extends the I enumerable interface. So anything that you do with I enumerable can also be done with I queryable. On top of that, there is one big difference that is directly related to performance of your application. Let me explain that with an example. We have a client and we have database. When we use iEnumerable to query something in our database, it will always return all the records of that table. Even if you had a where condition there where you wanted to filter the data, when it retrieves the records from database, all the records are returned back to the client and then in memory, it applies the filter. Let me elaborate that a little more. Let's say you have a code where you are retrieving all the books from your database and you have an I enumerable. On that book list, when you add the WHERE condition that only retrieve all the books where price is greater than 500. The actual query that gets executed is select all the columns from book. There is no WHERE condition that is passed in the query when entity framework goes to database using your condition. Once it retrieves all the book, then the filter of price greater than 500 is applied in memory. So even if you only had one book where the price was greater than 500, it will retrieve all the books from database and then in memory, it will iterate through all of them and it will return the book where price is greater than 500. When you work with iQueryable, client is querying the database with the same condition, the filter is applied on the query itself. So all the records are not returned back. Filtering is done in the SQL itself. To see that further, we have an I queryable of book list this time. And if we use the exact same where condition, the query that gets executed is different. You can see in the query itself, we have the where condition of price is greater than 500. So that is the main difference when you are working with I queryable and I enumerable. As an example, I enumerable should be used when you want to filter data in memory. One example could be when you retrieve a specific data from database, you want to apply on that data set and return all three different data sets to the client. In that case, I enumerable could be used to retrieve the initial data set and then apply filter on that data set in memory. If we were to implement same using iQueryable, then we would have to make three trips to the database to retrieve all the three different filter condition. So rather than that, if you use iEnumerable and filter in memory, there will only be one database call. To conclude, if you want to apply filter in memory, iQueryable is preferred but if you want to apply a filter on the SQL itself and retrieve less or filtered records, then iQueryable should be used. In most of the cases during data retrieval with filters, iQueryable is preferred because it applies filter on the SQL itself and as a result, less number of records are returned, which reduces the network traffic as well. I hope you remember this next time you are confused between iQueryable and iEnumerable. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and leave a comment if you have more question or if you have other topics that you want me to cover in the next video. Till then, happy coding!